No doubt, uh, you know, we start Mimi Collins, somebody we recruited out of high school, uh, ended up going to Tennessee first and then going to Maryland. And uh, we played against her a little bit while she was at Maryland. But I've always been familiar with Mimi. Like I said, we recruited her hard out of high school. So uh, that was, you know, something we were excited about with the loss of Kayla Jones. Really, we, you know, as far as a true four player, Jada Boyd's the only one we had on the roster. So uh, it's great to have that depth there. And then uh, Sanai Rivers, uh, what do you say? I mean, she's Gatorade, USA Today, National Player of the Year coming out of high school, a great talent. Uh, I mean, she played 45 minutes in the Final Four. So uh, she has a world of ability, uh, still has some growing to do. And like I said, they all do as far as coming together as a team. I love the talent, uh, got great talent, but now we got to become a great team. Coach, you're talking about coming together as a team and like all the talent you guys have. Uh, can you talk about like uh, Desire James and how, like, you know, yeah. towards the end of the season last year, in terms of the team, provided some speed, yeah. like speed, like speed, like yeah. speed, like 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 Right in the middle of that, you still have players that were in your program last year that are now looking to take another step. And as I James is a big one in that regard. Great player, scored over 2,000 points coming out of high school. Uh, as did Jessica Timmons and Sophie Hart, obviously another player in that group. But Isaiah especially, super athletic, can shoot the three. Uh, she's an exciting player, and uh, we're going to you know, look forward to seeing how she does. She played well in the games that she got in a year ago. Uh, we're going to need her to be consistent, not in, not out, and uh, provide us with some depth. What, what should be the expectations given all that? Yeah, our expectation is always the same. We're trying to win ACC championships. We're trying to get to a Final Four. We're trying to win a national championship. You know, people ask you, what are your goals? Well, you know, heck, you want to win every game. I mean, that's your goal. It's, it, you know, it's, it doesn't happen very often, but uh, you want to go in there with, with opportunity to compete in every game. So. Uh, we have a schedule that gives us an opportunity to really challenge ourselves. So we're going to find out in a hurry. And the ACC is unbelievably strong. I think five teams in the top 12 of ESPN's uh, much too early poll. So uh, it's going to be it's going to be a, a tough challenge, but uh, excited about it. I just want to get your opinion on something we're watching. How have you seen Jakaya um, step up as a leader over the last six months? I'm sorry, who? Jakia. 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 Yeah, yeah, you know, Jakia is not super outspoken. Uh, so that's going to be the biggest thing, getting her to maybe be a little more vocal, uh, get all of them to uh, try to be positive with these new players and understand somebody, those players that we just lost, they helped bring you along. Now it's your turn. you got to help these players grow uh, and become part of our program. So. Uh, but Chiki has got a great heart, and uh, I think she'll do very well at it. How with, do you come up with analogies like that French fries one you just had a minute ago? Uh, I'm a sick man, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think crazy. I think crazy things all the time, man. Do so, you have some other favorite ones off the top of your head? Other analogies like that that you like to go to? Ooh, I don't know. Let me think about it. I'll come back to you. Okay. You mentioned AC race. What AC players give you the biggest headaches? All of them. I mean, there's there's a lot of great players in this league, and uh, you know, there's four or five teams that I feel like can compete for a championship, and all those teams have somebody on that team that, uh, like you said, you got to worry about, and, and they're one of the best players in the country uh, in all those teams. So, um, yeah, I just, again, worry about when, when, they, when, they're, when they pop up, it's their week, and we're playing them. That's when I worry about. Is that a greater number in terms of potential eight, four or five potential AC championship? I think there is. Year? I really do. Like I said, there's five of us ranked in the top 12 in the in the way too early polls. So if they got five in the top 12 in the country, uh, I'd say any of those teams can can have a shot. And I think there's some out there that maybe are being overlooked that are that can be really good too. Hey, coach, what's your message for the Wolfpack Nation? Thank you. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, our fans. Uh, you know, we're, we sold out eight of our nine ACC games. Uh, we show up for the ACC tournament championship game an hour and 45 minutes before tip. And this is in Greensboro. And there are hundreds, maybe thousands of people lined up an hour and 45 minutes before tip to welcome us to the arena. 
Uh, yeah, I told our players, when we went back to the back of the bus, I said, if this doesn't get you ready, I got nothing for you, okay? So it's definitely, our fans give us a big home court advantage, whether it be in Raleigh or Greensboro. And uh, so uh, I owe them a lot. You talked about uh, Courtney's quotes earlier with the rivalry. I, mean, I did. Did I mention that? No, I didn't no, mention that. Where'd she go? She ran. That girl dropped that bomb and ran. <laughs> well, I didn't bring that up. I, I, you know, I hate to put you on the spot, okay. but you know, what did you think of the comments that made waves about the classless fan and NC State not being relevant this, this summer? Well, you know, we're all a little classless at times. We have fun, <laughs> man. You know, that's why we wear red. Red's yeah. fun, you know? Uh, like I said, you know, it's just, you know, it's all about the court. It's all about doing it on the court. We'll have fun with it. And, and uh, you know, hey, it's getting media attention, right? So that's good. Uh, but we'll just uh, keep playing in that little gym and, and uh, hopefully we can, uh, you know, keep packing it out and winning some games. But, yeah, it's all good. Did, did she call you? Did she call you to apologize or call you to talk about it at all? Uh, no. Uh, but she did, she did drop me a note. And that was very nice. And, uh, yeah, but uh, it's a fun robbery. You know, how, where else in the country do you have three power fives within 30 minutes of each other? You know, I don't know. There may be, but I don't know of any. And uh, so it's fun, you know. Hey, we had, a, we had a recruit in a few weeks ago, and our players took them over to uh, – See uh, Deja Kelly's birthday party, you know. So I'm thinking, what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Courtney didn't call me and invite me to her birthday party. God, don't it? But you know, the players handle it a lot better than the coaches do, right? <laughs> you you talked about the, did you get invited to Deja Kelly's birthday party too? I, you know what? I think she figured I'd get too crazy. She, you know, she couldn't handle that. <laughs> you, you talked about the leadership aspect with Jakia, but on the court, do you feel like? She has maybe even another level that we haven't seen in terms of being able to be the go-to scorer. Lord, with Elisa I hope so. You know, uh, no, she's been a great player for us. Like I said, all ACC player. But yeah, you hope she steps to another level. And uh, you know, I think she's got some help around her, so she shouldn't feel of you know the weight of the world. But uh, at the same time, uh, goodness, she's been here four years, and I think she's gotten better every year. And you know, last year the numbers got tweaked a little bit because of adding Diamond. I mean, Diamond uh, took a little bit of scoring away from everybody. You know, that's just part of it when you add a great player. So, uh, but I still think she had a phenomenal year. And yeah, we're we're gonna need her to really step up. And, and obviously she hit the big shot against UConn to put it into double overtime. She's capable of doing those things. Hey Wes, I know you're a big football